Are you ready? <laughs> taibo, taibo. Okay, so good afternoon. So we are so privileged here that we are hearing the word of God, Amen. the pure word of God. We are so blessed. For certain, I was blessed by the message this morning Amen. to be consistent on what we are doing for the Lord, whatever it takes. And as I was a Cleveland dating, eh, malala. So, ano mang kalagayan, patuloy tayo sa paglilingkod sa Panginoon. Because we are saved to serve. So, that's what we're going to study this uh, afternoon in uh, 1 Peter chapter 5. Let's open our Bible in the book of Peter. Fit. Peter. Medyo kakakonsyos mo sa P at saka F. Nababaligtad. 1 Peter, okay. 1 Peter chapter 5, 1 to 11. Let's all stand up as we read the Word of God. Okay, let's read this responsibly. 1 Peter chapter 5, 1 to 11. The elders which are among you I exhort, who am also an elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, and also partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being in samples to the flock. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility, for God resisteth the proud, and giveth grace to the humble. Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same affliction are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Altogether, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let's come to the Lord in prayer. Our Father in heaven, Lord, thank you for uh, this time, uh, giving us opportunity to study your word. I pray, Father, that you will guide us and uh, give us the truth that we can uh, uh, see here. Uh, help me, Lord, as I uh, uh, preach your word, uh, give words to my mouth, and uh, give us also a receptive heart to understand this. And I pray, Father, that you will guide us and in everything we do today, may give glory to your name, especially this, uh, this uh, preaching and studying of your word. Thank you so much, Lord, for everything. We ask for forgiveness of our sins. Thank you so much, Lord, all these things I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so you all may be seated. So here, in, uh, if you're going to read the book of Peter, from uh, in uh, Second Peter, his second epistle, in uh, chapter 1, Two, three, four. You can see he, he described the suffering of uh, Christian and the suffering of Christ. That the suffering of Christ made us uh, uh, heir together with Christ. Become we became a Christian because of the suffering of Jesus Christ. And also he also stated that in this uh, in this in this book that we as a Christian. We do not need to be surprised if we are, if we are going to experience suffering in our life. Because uh, it was uh, stated, stated by the Lord Jesus Christ, He said, If you want to follow me, take up your cross. So it means uh, a Christian life is not just uh, lying down on the bed of roses, 
but a bed with full of thorns. There are many sacrifices and uh, trials, temptation that we are going to, to, to face when we serve God. But, but praise be to God because He will give grace to us. So, hindi po dapat tayo mag, uh, mawalang uh, loob pagdating sa paglilingkod sa Panginoon because we know that God will not leave us nor forsake us. That was His promise to each every one of us for those who believe and trust on the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, we're going to study here in 1 Peter chapter 5, the last chapter of uh, 1 Peter. The title of our message is Serving the Lord. We are, like what I've said, we are called to serve. Actually, we are, we are uh, saved for God's glory. And we can give glory to God by serving Him. So that's what uh, we're going to do. Now, uh, in Psalm 100, verse 2, it says there, Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. Now, one secret to avoid exhaustion, weariness, difficulties, and frustration in serving the Lord is to serve Him with gladness. It is also applicable in our work. You know, if you don't love your work, if you are not happy on what you are doing, especially in your work, you will feel tired. I know all of us here are teacher. If you don't enjoy teaching student, for sure, uh, watch movie ang kalalabasan mo. <laughs> Ayan, bagsak natin eh. <laughs> watch movie, I'm brother man. Nagsasabi yan. P.E. <laughs> uh, Ganun po, kasi wala na dun eh. Hindi ka na nasisiyahan. Yung una, excited ka. But after that, because you are not happy, you are not, uh, you don't, you don't like what you are doing. That's why you will feel exhausted and you will feel tired. Also, when, when it comes in serving the Lord. I know we are human. We, we, um, sometimes we feel tired or most of the times we feel tired. Uh, and it comes to serving the Lord, coming to church. Really, so it's so hot today. It's uh, much better to stay at, in your room, to turn on the aircon, to lie down, watch NBA, <laughs> watch the favorite movie that you want, than coming to the church. But if you are not happy on what you are doing, coming to church, the, the, the things that will happen, it, you will stop. Kaya nga maraming nagbabackslide kasi hindi na sila masaya. That's why we are encouraged by the Word of God that we need to serve the Lord with gladness. Are you happy today? Or maybe say, uh, we are happy. <laughs> so we are so happy. So we are saved to serve. Serve the Lord and serve each other. Apostle Peter shows us the different service of a believer to God. So we can see here in chapter 5 of First Peter, Let's go in number one. It says here, The elders which are among you, I exhort. So first thing that we can see here, number one, serving as a shepherd. So it is a reminder to those uh, elders. And we know the elders, the pastor, and the... Uh, bishop. 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 They are the same. So it pertains to the pastor, who leading the church and po apola peter is uh, exhorting here he said the elders which are among you i exhort we can see truth here when it comes uh, in choosing a pastor it must be from among among us that's why it's really hard to get pastor from other place but although it is a practice in, in united states and some other parts in the philippines but the biblical way is to get a pastor from from the congregation because he knows what what he uh, yung kung ano yung kalakaran sa iglesia di ba hindi naman ko ibig sabihin na kasi ikaw nagsisimula ay talaga ikaw mag-uuna doon gather ka pero pag nakagather na doon na tayo kaya tulad tayo natin dito maraming capable na maging uh, na papalit kay pastor hindi ko naman sinabing palitan na natin si pastor <laughs> hindi <laughs> Kung uh, ako lang, ako kasi hanggang, maka, hanggang kamatayan, si pastor na lang ang aking pastor para 
para <laughs> para masaya, di ba? Yung hindi ka na ba mag adjust Pero hindi, hindi yun ang kalooban ng Panginoon eh. But I'm pointing here, eh, Peter, uh, Peter said that, I exhort the elders from among you. We know that in the Philippines, there are pastors that are pastoring other churches. We, uh, eh, ito pastor namin, no? ba't asan siya? Ah, nandun, nasa iba, isang church, no? Hindi biblical po yung kaya sinabi ni Peter dito, which are among you. I exhort. Kaya nga, hindi po biblical na marami kang ikaw, pastor, tapos marami kang hawak na iglesia. Hindi po yung uh, nasa Bible. Although kahit anong tingnan natin, hindi mo talaga maano eh. Mamaya makikita pa natin. Ano yun? <laughs> Kala mo yun po. Nawala tuloy. Asa na yun? Ayun. Serving as a shepherd. Number one, we can see here the responsibility of the shepherd. In verse number one, the elders which are among you, I exhort, who am also an elder and a witness of the suffering of Christ and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Yeah, that's number one. So Peter is telling that this, he knows that he is an apostle, but he, 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 he shows that I am the same like you. He is not in a higher position. Hindi siya yung mas mataas kaysa sa inyo kasi we know that he, he is an apostle. And we know that he, if we're going to look at his uh, background, maybe we can say that he is the leader of the 12 disciples. Kasi yung kanyang kar- karakteristik at yung kanyang mga ginagawa, ganyan sinasabi, talaga masabi na tayong mataas ang kanyang position. But he say here that I am an elder like you. We are the same in in the sight of God. Kaya nga sa, when I'm studying here, I'm thinking, when it comes in the Philippines, maraming mga pastor na gusto silang titingalain. Kaya nga nauso na yung tawagan na bishop, reverend ngayon, may ano na, patriarch, matriarch, ba? Iba na gusto nila na sila mas mataas. Hindi nila naiintindihan na lahat tayo pantay-pantay. Kaya nga na masaya tayo rito kasi tinuturoan tayo ng pastor dito, natin dito na tayo pantay-pantay sa harap ng Panginoon pero yung office niya iba, di ba? Alam na iintindihan natin 'yon. Kaya nga yung i-testimony ni Pastor kanina, yung yung pastor na talagang gustong kunin yung bag niya kasi parang kailangan iba ang tingin natin sa hindi po ganoon, sabi isa si Peter, sabi niya, pare-parehas lang tayo. We are the same. I am an elder like you. Now, the responsibility eh, the shepherd, the response, uh, we can say, letter A, responsibility of the shepherd, number one, in verse number two, feed the flock of God, which is among you. Say, sinabi pa rin, feed the flock of God, which is among you. Pakainin mo yung mga tupa na nasasakupan mo. Among you, hindi yung kung saan. Kasi may mga pastor ngayon po, na hindi mo na makikita sa church, linggo-linggo, di ba? Kung saan saan nagpupunta, dito, 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 dito. Kukula na lang, invitehan siya ng church niya sa kanila. Pastor, dito ka naman mag-pre-chatin. <laughs> Magla-love gift din kami. Di ba? Iba, hindi, iba naman yung sitwasyon natin dito kasi alam natin kung ano ang ating ginagawa. Pero uh, my point is, the, the, the shepherd must feed the flock which is among you. Yung nasasakupan niya, hindi kung saan-saan ang... Pero nahulog ah. Hindi kung saan-saan ang pinupuntahan niya. Ayan sinabi sa 1 Peter, feed the flock of God which is among you, taking the oversight thereof not by constraint but willingly hindi yung yung uh, with force pag mag-implement at tayo we are so happy here that we are uh, we can move freely we are guided according to the word of god and we need to continue to pray for our pastor for doing that but willingly and not for filthy lucre not for money but of ready mind So this is one of the responsibility of the shepherd to feed the flock. To feed the flock must be driven by love to God and to His people. If you don't love what you are doing, not, this is not only applicable for, for the pastor, or the, for the bishop, or for the elders, but also it's applicable also to each every one of us as a member. If you think you're a member, or you think I'm just a vice member, we are <laughs> my vice member, yeah. Uh, we need to do it. We need to be driven by love to God and to His people. So, for no man is fit to feed Christ's lambs and sheep but those who sincerely 
love him. If you don't love the flock, you will not feed them. Diba? Ayon sa first, uh, sa John 21.15, can you, John, ah, meron na pala ako. John, John 21.15, So when they had dined, Jesus said unto Simon Peter, kinausap niya si Pedro, kaya si Pedro sinulat niya ito eh, mula sa kanyang puso, na-experience niya. Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than this? Pinapakita niya, ito yung mga nahuli mo, mas mahal mo ba ako kaysa dyan? O yung worldly things, he said unto him, Ye yeah, Lord, Thou knowest that I love thee. And Jesus said, He said unto him, Feed my lambs. You will prove that you love me if you will feed my lambs. So this is one of the force or the driven force that will, will uh, uh, move a bishop or a shepherd or a pastor is because of love. Even us as a member, we also do this because of the love of God. So that is the responsibility and then number two not only to feed the flock but to do this willingly and not by constraint when you say constraint something that controls what you do what you do by keeping you without particular limits yung pinepwersa ka na di ba hindi ko maintindihan yung mga members sa Pilipinas talagang nakikita naman nila na pinahirap alam na nila na wala hindi ko alam kung naiintindihan na nila yung ginagawa na kanilang pastor ay wala na sa Bible. Pero nandun pa rin sila. Nabubulag sila. Pero ito ay responsibility nung naglilid sa kanila. They need to do this willingly and not by constraint. If there is no willingness in what you are doing, in a short manner of time, you will stop and give up. Kung hindi ka willing sa ginagawa mo, talagang darating ang oras matatapos at titigil at titigil ka. Kahit lang sa mga ordinaryong, uh, sa mga, uh, mga members na tayo dito, kapag hindi ka willing sa ginagawa mo, hindi po titigil at titigil tayo. And then, number three, in verse number three, it says here, uh, verse three, Neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being an example to the flock. To do this humbly, and not in a high-handed manner. Being lords over God's heritage. Hindi ka yung nag, ikaw yung nag, nagiging Panginoon. Ikaw yung, gusto mo, ikaw yung tinitingala. But you must be an ens, ensample to the flock. Yung, yung feeling mo na ikaw ang hari sa iglesia. Ya? At lahat ng sasabihin mo ay dapat sundin. Kahit wala na sa Bible. Di ba? Dapat, pag sinabi ko, ang Diyos nangungusap sa akin. Bago kayo kausapin, ako muna. Madalas nating marinig yan eh, di ba? Kaya eh, yung mga member naman, hindi naman talaga, kaya nakakalungkot din sa Pilipinas, hindi talaga nag-aaral ng salita ng Panginoon. Talagang oo lang ng oo, tama. Kung ano sabihin ni Pastor, ayan, sabi ng, sa salita ng Panginoon. No? No, hindi ka, hindi, hindi, nyo, dok, hindi nyo ako dapat questionin kasi ik, ako ang sugo ng Diyos, di ba? Sugo ako ng Diyos dito. So, paano natin malalaman na mapagmataas ang ang pastor. First, how he treat the church. Yung nakas... Di ba? Tapos yan, eh, gagano ng balbahin din. <laughs> di ba? Malalaman mo naman, you will discern that a person is boasting or he is full of pride. So kaya nga maging maingat po. But uh, as a pastor, although may, maybe someday one of us here, those men, will uh, we'll become a pastor, we need to stick to the Word of God. Amen. We need to study the Word of God, what God is telling us what to do, because if we will put it, uh, yung, uh, yung ating achieve, ilagay natin sa isip natin at mahanginan, tayo yan eh, lalaki na ulo natin. Di ba? But we need to go back to the Word of God. We need to do this humbly and not in a high manner. Now, in the letter B, we saw the responsibility of the shepherd. That's letter A. Letter B, the reward of the shepherd. Verse 4. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by this ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped... Ah, mali. Binasa ko. First. Nasaan na ba yan? Second Peter pala ta. Yeah. Verse 4. 
<laughs> nah, maling translation. <laughs> sorry, sorry guys. <laughs> sorry church. Verse 4. Lumalabo na rin yung tingin ko eh. Nag-uusap nga kami ni Sir Alice Kebe. Sabi ko, pag nagbabasa ko, parang may, ano, parang may muta yung mata. O, lumala. Sabi ko, ay sabi niya, o, lumalabo na yan. O, nga. Dapat ko na magsalamin. Ito ngayon na, pag yun ano ko, malabo na. Pag dito, malabo din. <laughs> Hindi naman mataas masyado. <laughs> so, kailangan, in-advise din ako ng misis ko na magpasukat na ako. Sabi ko, makukang makakapagpasukat na ako. Eh, ano na tayo eh. Kasi, tinitiis ko lang yung labo eh. Malabo pa yung future, sa ikawag mo na. Hindi pa, hindi pa malinaw. Ngayon, malinaw na. Lalagyan pa ng salam eh, lalong lilinaw. Hindi ba tayo napunta dyan? Okay, so, verse number 4. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. So, the, the reward of the shepherd. This is a this is an encouraging motive and argument to engage the elders and pastors of the churches to discharge their office faithfully, cheerfully, and in humble manner. Amen. May reward na binibigay ang inaantay ng Panginoon. Although this is not the, the, the thing that will force you to do, to do what God is telling you because of the reward, but because of love. God knows our heart. And He will, uh, he will reward what we are doing. Sabi ni Peter, and when the chief shepherd shall appear. Alam ko, hindi lang ito ang pangako sa mga pastor. Pa, ganun din sa atin. Maging, kung magiging faithful po tayo sa paglilingkod sa ating Panginoon. This is, uh, there are different crowns. Uh, you will receive. Ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Crown of glory that fadeth not away. If you will go into imagine what kind of crown is that. Hindi kumukupas. Uh, napakalaking encouragement to sa atin. May marami tayong makikita rito na, na mga possible rewards of a believer that may earn. Number one, the incorruptible crown. In 1 Corinthians 9, 25-27, to it says there, And every man that is striveth for the mastery and tem is temperate in all things, now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown. But we an incorruptible. We can receive this incorruptible crown. I therefore so run not as, uh, as uncertainly, so fight I not as one that beateth the air. So this is one of the possible uh, crown that we can receive, the incorruptible crown. And not only that number, to the crown of rejoicing. Crown of rejoicing for in 1 Thessalonians 2, 19, for what is our hope or joy or crown of rejoicing? Are not even ye in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ at His coming? For ye are our glory and joy. If you are sharing the word of God, telling people, you can receive this crown, crown of rejoicing. Sabi sa nga sa Proverbs 11.30, The fruit of righteous is a tree of life, and he that winneth souls is wise. So, how about our soul winning? Sharing the word of God. Man, nowadays we have uh, we have tons of ways to 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 tell people about the Lord Jesus Christ. We can show by our life. We can share through the word of God. We can use the internet. We can do everything for to 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 share the word of God. And not only that, the crown of life in James 1:12. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. If you will endure temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. So, kailangan kaya pag meron tayong temptation o pagsubok sa buhay, kailangan mapag, mapagtagumpayan natin to. Pero madalas pagdating sa temptation, madali tayong bumagsak. Pero but God is a God of grace. He will give us a chance to, to stand up again and to, to, to follow what the will of God in our life. And which uh, he shall receive the crown of life which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. It is a promise. And God for sure, we, we, he will do it. But the condition is for those that love him. Do we really love the Lord? Or we can say, yes, I love the Lord. But it's hard to, to do it. 
but God will give us a crown of life if we really love Him. And not only that, in Revelation 2.10, it says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Yung kanina yung pinipreach ni Brother Jong. Diba yung sinusunog. Yun yung imagine ko. Paano kayang biyaya? What grace is that? That that person received from God. Kasi pag ikaw, di ba mapaso ka lang? <laughs> Magagano ka lang. Sakit. Sino na, na napaso na? Marami. Ako, buong katawa mo, puro paso na. <laughs> Ay, kung makikita, kung pwede lang ipakita, hita ko rito. Keloids yun eh. Kasi nagtitindang magulang ko na ng ulam tapos sinahatid namin doon sa Makati sa may tulay doon. Tapos kami nakatira sa Buendia. Yung ilagang baka, sinasidecar lang. Eh yung pababagan sa Buendia, tumaob kami. Doon natapon yung ilagang baka dito sa akin. Hindi ko alam kung anong nararamdaman ko. Parang yung kaluluwa ko nasunog. <laughs> Ang sakit. Ginawa ko, hinubad ko yung short ko. Hindi kayo nabad yung brief, tagtakbo ko na. <laughs> Pati damit ko. Ito nga, iba kulay niya. No? Buti, naitukod kong ganun, hindi yung mukha kong hindi. Naku, sira. <laughs> iba kasi, <laughs> ang inisip niya, sana nasunog na lang yan. Natukod ko, ito, iba nga kulay niya. No? Grabe, sabi ko, matindi ang paso. Alala ko pa, nag, uh, pinag-iinit ako ng tubig. Kasi noon, takuri lang, kasi sasalin mo sa termos. Ewan ko, naabutan niyo yun. Saling ganon, natumba naman dito sa akin. Ginawa ko, talon ako sa drum. Pag talon ako sa drum, walang tubig. <laughs> ako kaya't ulit ako. Nagagawin <laughs> kong init. Dito, paso rin ako dito. Kung na-experience yung paso, talagang mati. Pero yung, kani, yung, sina, yung illustration kanina, yung sinusunog, dahil sumunod siya sa Panginoon, eh, grabe pong malakpak pa. Eh, ewan ko kung makakapalakpak kayo, masunog kayo ng ano. Mapa, yung, ewan ko, naglalaro kayo ng ano, straw, tapos pinapatay yung langgam. <laughs> Ay nang laro natin noon eh. Napatakan ka rin, sobrang hapde. Pero ini-imagine ka pang bihira. Ay, sana. Salamat. <laughs> okay, so, next. So, the crown of righteousness. Ayan po ang ma-receive na. 2 Timothy 4.8 Henceforth, there is laid up for me crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Do you love the appearing of the Lord Jesus Christ? Do you love His second coming? Amen. And this is the crown that we can receive. Ito madalas kong maranig kay Richard Alex. Yung kapag talagang uh, lagi mong iniisip yung pagbabalik ng Panginoon, you will receive a crown of righteousness. Then last, the crown of glory which in uh, 1 Peter was mentioned. 1 Peter 5, And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that faded not away. Now, the we, this is an encouragement for us that we continue to serve the Lord because God will reward us. Darating ang time na tayo harap sa Panginoon at bibigay niya yung karapat dapat na reward sa atin. Ang nakakalungkot lang, hindi natin alam kung ang ginagawa talaga natin ay talagang makakatanggap ng reward. Kayo lang ang makakasagot niyan, ako lang makakasagot niyan, at ang Panginoon ang nakakaalam kung ang ginagawa talaga natin ay para talaga sa Panginoon. So, that's what we see here. Serving as a shepherd. Now, let's go to number two. Serving as a saint. In uh, verse 5, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 5, Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you, be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility, for God resisteth the proud, and giveth grace to the humble. So, this is uh, number two, serving as a saint. So likewise, you younger submit yourselves. It, was, uh, it is not those who are young in age. Peter is, uh, the younger here doesn't mean young officer, young in the ministry, young people or children, or young in experience and grace. Since there are little children and young men and fathers in the church, but it pertains to all members of the church. So it is pertains to all the members. Uh, Peter is telling us in serving the Lord as a saint or a member of a church we need number letter A submission we need to submit 
the younger are to submit to the elders. Kaya nga, kalooban ng Panginoon na tayo magpasakop sa ah, nakaka, naka, namumuno sa atin. Submit to those who are in authority. And those, uh, that authority is our pastor. And also, those who, are, those who are leading us. We need to submit to them, but be, we need to be wise. When we are submitting, we will submit if they are doing according to the Word of God. But if we can see that what they are doing is not according to the Word of God, that's the time we don't need to submit. Because we have a much higher authority to, be, to submit to. So that's why, but we are blessed here. We are uh, open here that we can ask questions. We, uh, we can inquire. We can search. We can do it by ourselves if what we are teaching here is really according to the Word of God. Hindi katulad sa ibang, uh, di ba, nakakalungkot sa gaya nga, yung experience ng pastor sa Pilipinas. Talagang ang mga Kristiyano ngayon, uhaw na uhaw. Sa talagang tunay na katuruan, kasi puro devotional nga, kasi madali lang naman mag, mag-preach pag devotion eh. <laughs> Daily bread lang. Ayun lang, hindi ka na mag-aaral. Pero, but we need to to study also. We need to submit to those who are in authority. The younger are to submit to the elders. Are you young in years or in experience as a Christian life? Be not wise in your own conceit, but be willing to receive the advice of your superior. We need to submit on what they are telling to us, especially if it is according to the Word of God. And not only that, all are to subject one to another. Sabi nga ni Peter dito, Likewise, uh, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. All the members, be submit to the pastor. Ye all of you, be subject one to another. We need to be, submit ourselves to each other. For those who have a much higher judgment, you will need to submit to that. Pag halimbawa, nag-argue kayo at nakita mo naman na yung judgment niya, yung kanyang decision ay talagang ayon sa salita ng Panginoon. Huwag na natin ipilit. Ay, hindi. Tama ito sa akin. Hindi ako pwedeng ganyan. Sino ka ba? Parehas lang naman tayong member dito. Ha? Di ba? Pag nakita natin na, ay, tama yung ginagawa nito, tama yung decision niya, let's be submit. Ayan ang inuutos sa atin dito ng Panginoon. Hindi lang tayo mag-submit sa may authority sa atin, kundi sa bawat isa. Amen. Hindi naman yung kung ano sabihin, oh, uh, Brother Mon, pulot. Di ba? Hindi ganun. Ang sinasabi rito, yung mga katwiran, katotohanan, pagdating sa mga problema, at nakita mo na tama yung desisyon niya, tama yung advice. Minsan kasi sa atin, pag ginag... Di ba ang, ang hirap tanggapin na mag advice sa atin, mas bata sa atin? Parang, si, kilala mo ba yung sinasabihan mo? Parang, ganun ang iniisip natin eh. But if we see that it is from the Word of God, we need to submit. Because that's what God is telling us to submit to each other. By submission, uh, serving as a saint, we need to submit. And then, humility. We need to have humility. Sabi rito, Ye, all of you submit, subject one to another, and be clothed with humility. We need to have a humble spirit. And be clothed, or rather, clothe yourselves with humility. Humility is a garment to be put on. Ito yung damit na napakahirap isuot. Pero ang daling hubarin. Di ba? Nakita niyo sa basketball, yung pajama nila, isang ganun lang. Sino nakakanood ng pag, di ba? Ang bilis tanggalin. Pero ang hirap ikabit nun kasi iniisa-isa yun eh. Yung, yung pakot. Ay, yung pakot. Butones. <laughs> yun. Isa-isa yun eh. Parang ganun din yung humility. Ang hirap isuot. Pero ang daling mawala. Ang daling hubarin. Alam niyo, napakahirap mag, uh, mag, uh, magpakumbaba. Kaya nga sabi ng Panginoong Yesus uh, ni Apostle Paul, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Ayun yung uh, ultimate humility. He is a king. He owns everything, but he humbled himself. Kung ang Diyos nga, nagpakababa ba tayo? Talagang hirap na hirap. Sana maisip natin yun. We need to be humble. Why we need to be humble? Because God resisted the proud. Sabi yan. But God resisted the proud and gave it grace to the humble. 
If you think, oh, why God is not hearing my prayer? Why God is not answering my desire? Or is not honoring what I want to do? Maybe you are proud because God resisted the proud. But He will for sure give grace to the humble. Hindi mo sasabihin, ah, kapatid, ako, humble ako. <laughs> hindi mo hindi sinasabing humble. Ilan dito mo humble? Taas ang kamay. Diba? Hindi natin pwedeng sabihin, ah, brad, humble ako. Hindi, kasi nakikita yan. At, hindi mo ayan nga, mahirap eh, dinuturo nga ni Pastor, yung humility nga, nalala ko sabi niya, kapag nalaman mong humble ka, wala na yun. Diba, ah, salamat, humble. Panginoon, salamat ako, humble. <laughs> kaya, wala, wala na yun. But the humble, the lowly-minded God gives grace. If you want to receive, if you want to receive grace from God or favor, pouring out, pouring it down upon them in riches plenty, we need to humble ourselves to God. Humble yourselves, therefore, says the apostle, and this shall be the result: He will exalt you in due time. God will lift you up. Nobody can bring you down. Ay nga lagi nang sinasabi ng ating pastor dito, huwag na tayong magsiksikan sa taas. Ang dami, magkakatulakan doon. Doon tayo sa baba, walang, nag, walang kompetensya. Kasi babaan eh. Di ba? At kapag nakita ng Panginoon ang iyong puso, ang iyong desire talagang, may you have a humble spirit, God will lift you up. And then we need to trust in God. Sabi nga, in verse, uh, Humble yourselves, therefore under the mighty hand of God, that He may exalt you in due time, and casting all your care upon Him, for He careth for you. We need to trust in God. And let us look at the importance of this exhortation. It is to trust our Heavenly Father with ourselves and, our, and all our concern. Whatever our concern is, we need to trust the Lord. Yan nga, yung pinag-uusapan namin, yung nag-meeting kami nila, Pastor, noon, na ayun nga yung nangyari, sabi ni Brother Nila, sabi, Iniisip ko, o nga ma, talagang medyo kina, uh, nag-worry rin ako. Pero sa ko, Panginoon, kayo naman nagbigay niyan, kayo din mag-aalis. Eh, blessing na nga yun, ha, na bigyan kami. But we need to, to stand for what is right. Amen. Hindi natin yung i-compromise. Eh. Kala ko sa, mag-uusap, sige, sabi, huwag na lang natin tirahin yung ganay, huwag na lang natin i-expose yung ganyang uh, turo. Kasi, baka maapektuhan din tayo. Hindi, nag-uusap kami talaga, seryoso kami na tutuloy natin kung ano ginagawa natin. Kasi ano, dito lang naman yan sa lupa eh. Hindi natin lang, baka bukas, wala na tayo, patay na tayo. Di ba? Tapos na-compromise mo yung, yung salita ng Panginoon dahil lang dun sa, sa natatanggap natin. So, kailangan maging maingat po tayo. So, we need to trust God because uh, sabi ng Panginoon, casting all your cares upon Him, for He careth for you. This is uh, uh, yung nakakapagpagaan ng loob na He really cares for us. We need to just cast all our cares to Him. So that's, na, uh, that's the last number one, serving as, a say, uh, serving as a shepherd. Number two, serving as a saint. And then number three, serving as a soldier. When we serve the Lord. In verse number eight, it says here, Be sober. Be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. So after Peter uh, exhort the leaders, the bishop, the pastor, the shepherd, he also exhort the members. And this last, it is for all of us, the pastor. We need to, we, uh, serving as a soldier, letter A, we need to be watchful for the devil. Be sober, be vigilant because our adversary the devil. We need to resist him, steadfast in faith, knowing that the same suffering are experienced by your brotherhood, brotherhood in the world. Letter A, your adversary the devil walks about. We must remain clear or sober and watchful, vigilant because Satan has not yet been bound and restrained for 1,000 years in Revelation 21 to 2. He says he will be. And says he will be at the present time, the devils walks about. Ang jablo talagang kumikilos at nagdo-double time. Kaya nga ngayon na talagang mahirap ang ating kalagayan. Dahil ang jablo 
napakadaling kumilos. Ang dami niyang mga paraan na ngayon. Kasi cellphone, internet, kahit saan, di ba? Ang dalin tayong pasukin ng Diablo. That's why we need to be watchful for the devil. Not only that, be steadfast in the faith. The secret of spiritual warfare is simple, steadfast resistance. We need to resist the devil. The, the Bible says resist the devil in James and he will flee from you. As we are steadfast in the faith, we resist the devil and lie, the, the devil lies and threat and intimidation. So, ayan ang sinasabi ni Peter dito, napaalala sa atin, we need to, to serve as a soldier. We need to be watchful. We need to be sober. We need to be steadfast in faith. Continue. And then, last letter C, be comforted, we are not fighting alone. Sabi nga, be sober, vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking who may may, whom he may devour, whom resists steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same affliction are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Huwag natin isipin na tayo lang nakaka-experience nito. Lahat tayo, may mga kapatiran sa buong mundo na talagang nag injure din sila, na lumalaban. Kaya hindi dapat tayo malungkot. Hindi po tayo nag-iisa sa, sa ganitong laban. And then, letter D, in verse 10 to 11, But the God of all grace who hath called us unto the eternal glory by Christ Jesus after what ye have suffered a while makes you perfect establish strengthen and settle you be prayerful for, sp for spiritual strengthening we need to continue to pray for each other Peter is he prayed for uh, the brethren he's uh, writing here that they need to become uh, to become strong in the Lord. And then the last, it says in verse 11, To Him be glory and dominion forever and ever. We will do this for the glory of God. If we are going to serve the Lord, we can give, we will give glory to Him. Thank you so much and may God bless us. It's right. Amen. Salamat, Brother Gomer. Tayo po ito mayo. Shall we all stand up, please? And let us try to meditate.